Hola guys! Happy Sunday. I am on my way home. Um, I have been out and about all afternoon. It is 5.46 and I have a trunk and a front seat full of goodies. I headed out early today and hung out with my sissy poo and gave my mommy kisses and lovin's and um, just took it easy today. I did everything I needed to do yesterday in regards to cleaning the house and a whole bunch of extra because your girl cannot start doing one thing without ending up doing the most. So I did end up with a couple of bags of donations in my trunk that I went ahead and dropped off at Goodwill today. And I went to binning and then had awesome lunch at my favorite diner Norma's with my sister. and visited with my mommy for a few hours. And then on the way home, I stopped off at Thrift Town uh, just to snoop around. Uh, and then went to Dollar Tree. Uh, so I have lots of things to show you guys. I picked up a couple of things uh, Friday, yesterday. Friday? No, today's Sunday. So, blah. Friday, I picked up a few things at Goodwill uh, because I was still on the elusive hunt for uh, the army jacket for little dude's Halloween costume. Uh, so I picked up a few things at Goodwill. Not a lot. No, just two things at Goodwill um, and hightailed it home. But um, yeah, little dude was picked up by his dad yesterday real late at four o'clock. So it's kind of good. They kept me in the house. Um, so as soon as he left, you guys, all I intended on doing was taking a bin of Legos up to his room because they're in the living room and I don't want them in the living room anymore. So, um, that's all I was going to do. Take the bin of Legos up to his room. And before I knew it, I started around 4 PM. And before I knew it, you guys, it was 4 30 AM and I had <laughs> reorganized his closet, sorted toys, sorted clothes again. And I had just gone through his clothes, but I had missed a batch of uh, jeans that no longer fit him. So I ended up doing that, ended up reorganizing the bathroom. You guys, when I tell you it was 12 hours of nonstop work, but it was all stuff that needed to be done, stuff that definitely does not hurt having got done. Uh, but your girl lied down around 4.30 and was wide awake, so I watched uh, the take with my adorable, handsome Tom Hardy in it until I dozed off. I think it was 6 a.m. when I finally fell asleep. And then I just woke up around 9.30 and got my day started. So when I get home, I got to check on my crock pot chicken. I set some chicken in my crock pot when I left this morning. Um, so I'm going to check on that and then get to the thrill of it all. The thrill of it all. The haul of it all. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when I get home. I'm about six, seven minutes away. I am home, y'all. Let's check on the chickeny goodness. Um, I left some leg quarters in here. Oh, they're not quartered anymore. <laughs> Cooked the snot out of them. Look at that. Falling off the bone. It's just leg quarters. Um... Cilantro, onion, jalapenos, fresh ones, um, a can of stewed tomatoes, a can of tomato sauce, a little bit of water, garlic, adobo sprinkled throughout, and some chicken bouillon, and I just set it on high for way too long, because it's chicken, you think I was trying to cook an ox, but it is ready, I'm going to, I wait, I'm going to steam some white rice, and then you spoon the gravy over the rice, and it is dinner time. My big dude's hungry. Okay, um, let's get to the fun of it all, the nitty, the gritty, the ooh, the ah. Uh, I'm gonna try and go in order, because I have everything kind of spaced out in front of me, and I'm trying uh, to get everything shown. Now, I did forget to show you guys something on my last video, because it was in my back seat. Uh, and I heard it clanking around, and I'm like, oh, I forgot about it. Now, the more I look at it, I'm like, girl, why did you get it? But I know why I got it because it was only $3.93 and it's the top that is kind of weird to me. Let me show you guys. I don't need another one. I don't. I don't. But look at it. Look at the mercury glass. But I mean, the lamp I think is awesome. The little base. Y'all know I like this kind of stuff. But I don't like the top. <laughs> look at this thing. 
It's ridiculous. At first I thought this had broken off of here and I put it back, but then I'm like, no, that's the actual thingy that holds the lampshade in place. I don't really like that. I don't know if I can finagle it to where I can remove this and just use this on top of that. I tried it, but it looks pretty stuck. So depending on the shade, I guess, um, it may work. It might not. It might end up in a free pile outside I'm not sure but this was $3.93 and I picked it up the last time I was at Goodwill on my last haul and I forgot to show it to you guys so I went to Goodwill again on Friday and to Thrift Town on Friday just because it was Friday I wanted to relax um little dude was in no hurry for me to get home so I stopped and like I said I'm still looking for the jacket um for the military jacket for his Halloween costume so I stopped in there and looked around and the only two things that I found there were this thing now it's not gonna stay as is but look at her look at her this lady in slumber just just when I saw her I was like she's my spirit sculpture I get it girl I'm tired too I know it she just looked so wore the heck out and I'm like <laughs> I feel her and then I flipped it over to see how much it was it was $3.93 but there's scripture on the bottom, guys. It says rest in repentance and rest in your salvation and quietness and trust is your strength. Isaiah 3015. It's from the Women of the Way Burden Studio. I was like, are you stinking kidding me? This was meant for me. But somebody attempted to paint it or I don't know what the heck they did to it, but it looks terrible. So I decided that I'm going to spray paint it. I'm not sure if I want to do a stone paint um, the way it is or white enamel um i'm not sure but i thought she was gorgeous and i had to have her so she came home with me and then as i was walking out to the register i'm like hey dummy you're supposed to be looking for a military jacket and i went around the men's and you guys let me just tell you this was meant for me because this was sitting on a hanger on a rack all by itself. I kid you not, guys. This jacket was all by its lonesome on a rack, just pushed aside. I'm like, are you stinking kidding me? It's big. It's a size large, and it's big on him, but it gives it, it – it's a size large short. So it's big body, but it fits him – just a little under his waist and it gives it kind of that disheveled, creepy vibe that we're looking for. Now this was $5.99, but considering that I almost purchased a costume for $30 on Amazon just so he could have the jacket, I'm not gonna sneeze at it. It's a official military issued one and $5.99 and I only purchased that other little thingy so I couldn't believe it. I was meant to go in there that day. So I'm like, you know what? If luck is on my side, I'm going to go to Thrift Town. So I stopped at Thrift Town. I didn't find much at Thrift Town that day, but there were some things I couldn't resist. Um, I found this pretty little shift dress. Is this shift? Is that what these are called? A-lines shift? I'm not sure. But um, it's this dress. It comes down to a little past my knee. Real pretty little dress with a little tie in the back. It looks so comfy and it would cover all my monsters, all my sinful fluff. And I thought it was really pretty and it was only $3.99. So I grabbed that thing. I already see this with a denim jacket and some booties for the winter. I thought that would be really, really cute. I found another one of those type of dresses that remind me of the dusters like my grandma used to wear. It's another one of these. This is what it reminded me of. It reminded me of my grandma's house dresses, her little duster things. Uh, but this one, another one, just covers all my sins. And it looks really, really comfortable. And it fit really cute. They have their uh, thrift. They have their thrift. They have their um, fitting rooms open. So I got to try them on and everything fit really well. That was $3.99 as well. And the only other thing I picked up was this hippy drippy boho looking shirt y'all know I love these kind I loved the little blue design on it it's nice and loose and flouncy fit really nice uh and that was also $3.99 so I got some I got some cute stuff for $3.99 and that was everything that I picked up on Friday on Saturday like I said uh we hung around the house a lot because little dude's dad took forever to get here uh in the meantime I realized I was gonna have to fix my toilet my downstairs toilet, the flapper was warped. 
and it had been consistently hissing and leaking for a little over a month. I know procrastination when it comes to home ownership is my game. Um, hence why my refrigerator is still sitting catty corner in my kitchen. It's not that I don't want to fix it. It's just that I don't want to fix it. But anyway, that friggin' toilet, when I went to check my water bill, added $62 to my water bill. So I'm like, oh, heck no. So for four or $5 uh, and 30 seconds worth of work, it is now silent and quiet and no more leak. So um, as soon as little dude left, I ran to Home Depot because I knew I was gonna need the flapper. And I went ahead and got the Fluid Master flapper, which is what I replaced it with because that's the parts that are in there. But just in case it didn't fit or I got something wrong, I bought a Corky Universal. If something goes wrong with the one upstairs, I have one, but it was easy, easy work. Thanks to YouTube, I knew what to do. But it ain't nothing, and I'm kicking myself in the butt because I'm $60 in the hole because of this leak. You guys, if you have any leaks or you notice your water bill going up, start checking your pipes, start checking something because you got a water leak somewhere. My bill went from 80 something to 160 and some cents. So, oh my goodness. So, I got that and then because I had my little sculpture and I wasn't sure if I wanted to spray paint her glossy white or the stone paint, I went ahead and got some glossy white. I thought I had glossy white in the garage, but I didn't. The cap was white, but the nozzle is a different color. So the pink color is the of the nozzle. So I went ahead and got some glossy white and I think I'm gonna do glossy white. That way it'll fit better in my bedroom, which is where I wanna put her. And then I also noticed while I was out watering my plants that I have some crack along the, the frame of my patio door and instead of pulling out the little piece of wood and replacing it which I know I need to do I'm gonna half butt it and I went ahead and got this painter's putty for uh, wood and I'm gonna fill in the little cracks and smooth it and see how long that'll last before I actually have to pull out the little piece of wood and replace it but I need to do something because um, I'm gonna start getting water coming into the house because our water stands still around here we have clay soil so when it rains a whole lot don't nothing penetrate that and we have water attempting to leak into the house sometimes uh, through under the doors. So that was my Home Depot trip. Then I went to Walmart for, I wanted to get everything done on Saturday. Everything done because Sunday I just wanted to relax. So I went to Walmart, got all groceries and, you know, household stuff. But I was super geeked out because they got these out again. These are uh, uh, yearly uh, little floor, um, candle waxes that they do for Day of the Dead and the Corona de Flores. This is amazing. I bought so many of these last season. And when I saw that they had them again, I geeked out and I went ahead and grabbed five of them. And that's only because I didn't feel like digging in that um, display for any more, but I'm definitely gonna go back. If you like the scent of rose, absolutely grab these guys. It is, it's like real, Roses, like you're sniffing real roses. It's not no dank, nasty ugh, roses. That is pure awesomeness of rose. Okay, so then uh, today I went to the bins and I did find a couple of things. Uh, let me show you my adventures in the bins first. OMG, I don't even, even want to think about what that is. Hazards, hazards everywhere. Be careful when you guys are digging through the bins. These little ramekins are nice. I don't need them, but they're nice. I'm going to unstack them in case somebody does want them. They won't break. Not much here, but I still have the whole other side to check out. And then I'm going to go pick up my sister. We're going to go have lunch. 
visit with my mommy a while. But I thought I would try the bins again since little dude and I were here last week and they wouldn't let him in. Thought I'd come in and sneak a peekaloo. What does that say? What does that say? I don't know. I kind of like it. Oh, every time I see a little hound, I think of my friend Sharon. How cute. How adorable. I love Dean Koontz, and this is a audiobook. Hmm. I don't have a CD player anymore, though. I spy metal scrolly goodness. These plate racks. I don't use them for plates, I use them for picture frames, and these are really pretty. There are three of them, all wound up with this um, grapevine. This is tempting, ain't gonna lie, but I don't have space for this stuff anymore. But they are pretty uh, photo displays. Look at this lampshade looks like a bordello lamp. Welcome to Betty's Bordello. Y'all see the cut glass goodness over here? Y'all see that? Don't need any of it, but y'all know I'm gonna look at it anyway. Maybe I'm extra with pets, but wouldn't this make an awesome kitty bed or small puppy bed? A little dedicated chair for your fur babies? Oh, it's so cool. I was tempted by those, but the lids are a little tarnished. They are pretty though. Super giant metal scrolly goodness. It's a candle holder, tabletop. Very pretty, but mm, nah. I have been carrying these around, um, but I'm gonna be good. I just don't have room for them, so they're gonna stay. Hopefully somebody sees them and takes them home. I wonder if that's all together. Hmm. Y'all know me and a lamp, and I think this is a floor lamp. I think. There are pieces everywhere. Oh, there's another one. These must be hanging. No, I think these are hanging. I think these are like pendant lights, because there's a few more. Oh my goodness, look at these. These are so pretty. Yes or no, they weigh absolutely nothing, so I'd probably pay cents for both. Hmm. What do I spy? This one's coming home, for sure. For sure. I don't have a cart, so I'm gonna have to lug it around, but it's okay. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I Said I wasn't going to get any more, but I couldn't resist it. I went ahead and got one more frame. I'm sure I'll find a home and a photo for it. Um, I got this thing and I could not pass it up. This metal paper towel holder, I love the color. Does it go with my kitchen? Hex, no, but I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to clean it up. I love this teal. I think it's gorgeous. It's an old school. You don't got to unscrew anything. You just put your... Your paper towel holder, your paper towels in there, I think. You guys tell me, is this missing anything? Is it missing a pole? Or do these little nubbies hold the paper towels? Y'all tell me, because I'll be really upset if I needed a friggin' pole to go in there. If I do, I'm cutting a broom handle. That's what I'm going to do. But I thought it was adorable, so I grabbed that. And the only other thing I picked up was that giant metal scrolly goodness uh, I did bring it home and it's probably going to leave a bruise on my arm where I was holding it. I had my arm looped through it holding it. But you guys, y'all see these two behind me, right? I have wanted something for above my little baker's rack for the longest time. It's the only spot in this little dining room that isn't decorated in some kind of metal scrolly goodness. Um, I don't know how that came about, how I ended up decorating with metal scrolly goodness and crosses. Crosses everywhere, metal crosses. But there is a gap up here that doesn't have anything up there. And guys, when I tell y'all this is perfect to go up there, that's why I got it. That was the 
the granddaddy of Metal Scroll goes, goodness. Okay, so then I went to Thrift Town after that, and I picked up a few things there. I got these. Now, I told you guys when I was redoing my room, I wanted to embellish around the mirrors that I had lifted up. I had some mirrors on my nightstands, and I lifted them up. I mounted them on the wall, but it looked too plain, and I wanted to judge up around it. Well, I did judge it up um, with some DIY stuff, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's too big. It's too bulky. It's not, it's not the line. It's not the look I wanted. I hate it. And um, the rest of my room I love, but I hate that. So I found these. I'm going to spray paint these silver. And I'm going to put one on each side of each mirror and leave it at that. It's going to be clean and just like that. I, I think I tried too much for those mirrors, for the mirror surround, and it just didn't work. I just don't like it. So as soon as I can get these spray painted, I'm replacing that. And... For those, she better have put them in here. I'm going to be mad if she didn't put them in here. For those, because they have those little holes, I went ahead and looked for some type of little votive to go in there for a candle. And I found these little drinking glasses. I'm assuming they're drinking glasses. And that's what I'm going to do uh, and drop in a little tea light. So I got two of these, and these were 69 cents each. Oh, I'm sorry. The candle, the little thing... These were $1.99 each. So I think that's going to look way better. It's not going to assault my eyes. Ooh, my nose. It's the jalapeno. It's the chile. It's everything going on in here. So I got two of those. And then I picked these up. I couldn't resist them. They're brand new. They haven't been used. I see these all the time. And the cashier said, we put out a whole bunch of these. And they have flown off the shelf. I got this one. This one. And this one. This one's a different style. They were each 99 cents. And the reason I got them, because I'm extra, because I want to be a little bourgeois, I'm going to put condiments in them. I want to put mustard and ketchup and hot sauce in them. <laughs> for barbecues or just, I don't know, just for them to be pretty. Um, and the only other thing, there's the other little glass folder. And the only other thing I picked up, and I put it back a couple of times, but it was so buttery soft and so awesome, was this leather purse. It's Feinschmecker. It's German. Can y'all make that out? Feinschmecker. When I tell you guys, this leather is so stinking soft, and it's not stinky like it's been in somebody's ratty old closet or anything. Pretty, pretty nice uh, not too heavy, but it has a nice heft. Just look at the little rufflies. I mean, come on. It's really, really cute. It's pretty clean on the inside. Nice and roomy. Oh, you know, nice and roomy in there. See? Really pretty. And that was $5.99. It was a little more than I usually pay for a purse, but I kept going back to it. I'm like, you know, you're going to regret not getting it. It is in such good condition. So pretty. And I like the little design on there. So that's what I got at Thrift Town today. <music> Dollar Tree and you guys the only reason I went to Dollar Tree was because I was craving those frozen lemonades and Minute Maid frozen lemonades and as good as I'm trying to be your girl wants something sweet sometimes and that's all I went in there for my Dollar Trees don't have them but the Dollar Tree that I pass coming home always has the orangeade the cherry limeade and the lemonade in stock so I went in and I got that and a few other little frozen items that I can use throughout the week for meals But I also picked up these uh, sparkling ice. They're zero sugar, which doesn't mean they're healthy. It's just, I get some bubbles, I get some flavor. Uh, I got the black raspberry, and I didn't used to like these, but I had one ice cold. 
out of the fridge because little dude likes them and it was delicious. I got the peach nectarine. They had a whole bunch of other flavors, but I know I like the raspberry and I'm hoping I like the peach nectarine. So I grabbed those. I went ahead and got more Italian ices because like I said, if I'm going to cheat, I'm going to try and cheat. Not too bad, but this is nice and cold and I like them. Okay. I like them. So I grabbed those. I got little dude a bag of these uh, Starbright mints. He really, really loves the mint. Um, trying to see if there's any other food item. I don't think so. Um, so I grabbed those. Uh, I got two of these little bins, and the reason I got them is for my waxes. Uh, I have a huge bin full of a variety of waxes, but I keep using the same waxes. Um, oh, whew, I keep using the same waxes. And I don't just like them sitting on a shelf or something. So I got two bins to store the ones that I tend to gravitate to. And then I can just hide them easier than just leaving them scattered everywhere. So I got that. I got these pretty little appliques because I got one of those little shadow box things that I thrifted uh, not too long ago. The thin one. And it's plain and black and it's just fine. But I want to fling it up. I want to style it up some. So I got that. I got two movies. Oops, oops, I'm making a mess. Domino effect up in here. I got Edge of 17, which I've been wanting to watch. Oh crap, is this in English? Okay, um, the Edge of 17 I've been wanting to watch, but I can't find it. Not even in the $5 bin at Walmart. And it's from Walmart. So I got it for a book. I like Woody Harrelson. And then Hillsong, Let Hope Rise, the movie. I wanted to watch this when it came out at the movies. Hillsong is one of my favorite Christian bands in the whole wide world next to Third Day. And I remember wanting to watch this movie. It's them telling their story of how they became Hillsong. If you guys don't know Hillsong, please Google Hillsong. Oh my goodness gracious. It will put you in such a good spirit. Napkins. I couldn't find these at friggin' Walmart or Target. Well, not that I was going to pay for it. I won't pay that much for friggin' stuff I'm going to throw away. Toilet paper's different. But napkins, I went ahead and grabbed those. I was out of foil. Needed toothpaste. Got little dude. More body washes. Lunch bags, because my baby brown bags his lunch. I wanted to try this Lady Speed, Speed Stick Body Wash. Now, some of you guys have been hauling different varieties. This is the only one I could find, but it's the only Dollar Tree that I could find anything at. So I grabbed that. It smells really nice. I got some more Stink Good. These are not Dollar Tree. Those are my empty pills. I got some Sleep Aid because your girl don't sleep and your girl needs to sleep. And I like that one. It works pretty good. I got some fabric um, band-aids because I don't like the plastic ones. I found this e.l.f. Shape and Stay Brow Pencil. Who am I kidding? Okay. But your girl is trying. I'm trying off camera because one day I'm going to come on and show y'all what I've learned. And it ain't easy. I got this Sassy and Chic. Now, this is the gel polish remover tool. But what I'm going to use it for is have you ever used your the last of your foundation and there's all this foundation on around the bottle? I'm not throwing that away. I'm sorry. And I don't want to water it down with a little bit of water. So this is going to scrape out all the foundation. At least I hope it is alongside the bottles. I got this for my key fob. My key fob was not working on my car. Turned out it was the wrong one. But thankfully I had the right ones in my drawer. Because this is not the right one. <laughs> I guess I should have Googled before I bought it. But I'm good now because I had some. I got these cotton rounds for little dude, and I also got this micellar, 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 this type of water. No matter how much his little kid bathes, his little nose has lots of blackheads. You've heard me say we try all this stuff. I'm trying whatever I need to try because he's, you know, getting hormonal and his little skin is doing some things. And I've heard things about this micellar water, so we won't try this on his little nose. I got two of them. It may work on me. We're just going to give it a try. It's for sensitive skin. He hasn't shown he has sensitive skin, but we'll see. We'll give that a shot. And that is everything. That is everything that I have been up to this weekend.
guys, look what I came upon. And y'all know we collect them. What y'all think she's worth? What do y'all think little Miss Anne is selling for? Let's see. 22 bucks. I don't think so. I have this little lady that I picked up at Goodwill for $10 and they're selling theirs for 65 hmm. That is everything that I have picked up and now I'm gonna go check on my rice before it burns, but I hope I wasn't speaking too fast. Oh, my cord came in for this guy. So we're gonna do that on a separate video. See if it works and see if I know what the heck I'm doing and make a pot of coffee together. But until my next go around, I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. I hope you guys are winding down and getting ready for another week. And until I see you guys again, I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all bunches. Bye.